Hello YouTube, this is Calgary Card here with a new episode of NBA 2K15, My League with the Celtics. This is part 3, and sorry if I sound really quiet or sad or lonely or just wanting to shoot myself. Uh, this is the third time I'm recording this episode and probably about the ninth recording where 8 recordings before have failed. So let's try it with all high hopes, and I'm going to show you what you missed. I traded Tyler Zeller, my 17, 2017 first round pick, 16 second round pick, and another 16 second round pick. I believe they were Cavs and Magic pick, Magic, Mavericks. I don't have the Magic pick for Willie Cauley Stein. Yes, Willie Cauley Stein, the Kings first round pick and their second round pick. That was an amazing trade. And then this is one I think people won't like. I'm not going to highlight over it because it just skips it out for some strange reason. But um. I traded Isaiah Thomas, yes, my all-star in Isaiah Thomas, for a, la, 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 and a 2017 second-round pick, Evan Turner, and a 2018 first-round pick, I believe it was from the Nets, for 76ers first-round pick, yes, that will be pretty good, but they have Isaiah Thomas now, so it may not be great, for the LA Lakers 2016 first-round pick, and that's not going to be affected by any of my trades, which I do enjoy, and Ish Smith, but no one likes Ish Smith, so, okay. <laughs> I signed um, Simbala, yeah, you obviously saw Simbala. I signed Danny Granger because I needed a backup three, and I wanted Danny Granger to have a last season. I do enjoy, I did enjoy playing with him as Celtics. Oh, the Rockets re signed and added sponsor Eunice. And I um, signed Baruch Nudgewitz, I believe that's how you say his name. I believe he was a uh, make a wish child who got, who got into the game. But yeah, you can see I waved Ish Smith from the Celtics. I but um, yes, we're going to get into a game right now. You've missed me play so many games. I, I can play all these. But I believe I played Washington Wizards and some other team. That is another team I did play. But I haven't lost one I've played yet. But 15-11 record, considering this Celtics team, is incredible right now. Look at... I'm redoing that. Uh, look at that. Um, I believe I'm going to... I wanted to do a trade for maybe Boban and Janovic, I was thinking I wanted, but uh, yeah, let's do that now, we're going to try a trade for Boban, we'll figure this out another time, I can't seem to get a trade to work. Welcome to 2K Sports everybody, thanks for joining us, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics going up against the Charlotte Hornets at Time Warner Cable Arena. Checking out the Hornets, they drop the first matchup against this squad. They'll try to even the series in tonight's game. And as we come up to the midway point of the season, Kenny, we're seeing some of the veterans who started slower now picking up the pace. Well, I think early on, a lot of times, if you've been in the playoff for some veterans, the early going in the season is a little mundane. But then as you start seeing the light of the tunnel, they don't pace themselves anymore. And you want to make sure that you're in playoff position to make something special happen at the end of the year. Excellent use of the word mundane, by the way. How about you, Shaq? Well, Monday, uh, experience <laughs> told me when you need to go hard and when you need to pull back. You know, the best veterans will be there when it matters the most. That's mundane, not, oh, okay, not I thought mundane. Said yeah. Monday. Like yeah. mundane yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, okay. Thursday. Got That's it. My bad. Two different things. Here's Kevin Harlan. Too bad Kevin Harlan doesn't get the opportunity because we're taking over. Um, yeah, I like the Stein team. Maybe I'm going to bring on Corley Stein and Linick. Wait, Linick may be too slow. For Marvin Williams. Oh, that's a difficult one to defend, Marvin Williams. Um, maybe Corley Stein starts there. Linick at centre. Oh. See, I like the other defensive matchups. Like maybe Bradley's a bit of a mismatch there. But, um. Corley Stein can defend the four, definitely. But I'm worried about Jefferson against the Linux. And Linux has played well defensively lately. Let's just give him a nod. He can play. Because I'm starting Corley. There you go. Come on. Get my first points for me. There we go. Jay has got to go. No points in over two minutes till Jay's first shot. You got him, Bradley? I don't know why Bradley went over there. Really, it should have been Corley to collapse. I wish you could switch that. 
so your smalls don't collapse. They just kind of stretch out more on the perimeter and your bigs collapse. This is a low scoring first quarter. 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 Let's try another pick a pop. Maybe I'm running through pick a pop too much. Oh my god. I should have let him dunk it. I thought he was going to get blocked. And before the game, we heard from Kemba Walker. He talked about his mentality when he steps out onto the floor. Play free. You know, just play like playing street ball. Just have fun. Just play the game that you've been playing you know, forever. You know, he may be having fun, but I'm not so sure playing street ball is really working out for Kemba. He needs to shoot better than 38% for the Hornets to go anywhere, doesn't he? Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. I mean, what might be better than, than continuing to play the same game you've been playing forever is to take your game to a new level, and, and that's going to take some discipline. I think Kemba has more than enough talent to be able to do that, but that's his challenge moving forward. We're going for a pick and pop with um, Big Drabko. Three-point demon. Rosier. Tough low. Try this again. He gave him too much space. I just had. To. I saw an opening. I think we can do this. Can people like give him a bit more space? There we go. Nice layup by Jeroko there. It worked, but Jerko's open. No, a Linux will be open. Trailing on the three. Gets a friendly roll. Nice job. I called that one way too early then. I could have backfired so much. Trying to check who's on the floor. Is that a Sully at three? Oh, it's, oh no, it's Danny Granger. Let's try an alley oop. I haven't alley ooped him yet. Oh. Love didn't work. The love. The love, the love. He missed it. My singing put him off. Yeah, it put anyone off. Let's check the runs. Danny Granger. Get in the corner. Pop that three. Danny Granger making the three. Rarely shoots for me, but always seems to convert. Well, guys, I'm here with Al Jefferson. And Al, what's the strategy been so far defensively? And what needs to happen in the second half in that regard? Well, we just got to help. Um, you know, we can't let everybody beat us. Right? We just got to, everybody got to help. And on the defense end, and uh, getting the key to take the point. Pick your poison. Can't let everybody be jail. We appreciate it, guys. Thank you, Doris. We'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, folks. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We're going to break down the first half action for you. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. The biggest lead of the quarter was only three points as they traded baskets back and forth. They showed their superiority in the second quarter and got well out in front, taking a nine-point lead into the locker room at the half. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench. You know, I'm impressed. It was what they needed, the jolt they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. Looking at Charlotte, Kenny, your thoughts. Well, right now, they're getting a little embarrassed on the defensive end. They got outshot in the first half, but that's because no one put their foot down on defense to stop it. So in the second half, they need to play much more disruptive defensively. They have to do whatever it takes. And that'll do it for now as the second half of our game is about to get underway. Kevin Harlan has the call. I'm all over you, Kemba. I'm not meant to be on you, Kemba. That was my fault. I just gave him a three. Let me do some subs, okay? We're taking off Bradley for Marcus Smart. Um, we're taking off Danny Granger back for... Jay Crowder, Corley's coming on for Sully. Let's bring back a Linux. A power forward. There we go. There's the team we're running with in the second half. Uh, don't go low. 
Bryce Elmick. We got Drake Browder. Make the odd there. That's Kelly Olynyk. Then there's Smart. You look really ginger. <laughs> Not trying to bomb off your shot. It just really looks ginger. Why haven't they brought Batum back on yet? Oh, really? Really? There is no way he can make that shot. Then. Okay, there is a slight way he could have made that shot then. My God, we're keeping this team on. Wait, Rosier's going there. Marcus Smiles going here. Because I feel like Batum's coming back on. Batum's still not on. What? Are they just comfortable with the win? Because if they are, what dicks? I would be two against this team, but... There we go, Mark Smart with a dunk. Bringing us back in the game. Fucking stop calling timeouts! No, you're on him. You're on him. Good defense there. Good defense. What? No way. There is no way in hell he just made that shot. Oh, fucking. We've lost the game. That is just straight up lost us the game. Oh, no. We've got it back. Let's see where Linux is. Not smart. No. Not there. No. No. Why were you there? Just stay on the three point line, you fucking dick. My god, I've lost the game. I've just lost this game. That was the sound of me losing. Yeah, I don't care about him getting that dunk. Actually, three points behind. We sa we have a small chance right now. If he st if he makes this shot, there's something wrong with this game. If he made that shot, there's definitely something wrong with the game. I brought on three point shooters. What was I doing? Oh, why'd you let me do this, people? Why? No, no, not a Linux, not a Linux, no, <laughs> not a Linux, why a Linux? Bradley, get here quick. Don't lose the fucking ball. Why did you run in the paint? Foul. Why did he run in the paint? Should no stick from three point line. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And the second of two is good. It gives me a massive headache. Why? 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 I did not tell you to go there. Fuck it, you're just not going where I told you to go. So I'm just giving up the game now. Done. Just fucking done.
Doris, thank you as always for Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the presentation of our Jordan Player of the Game, Nicholas Batum. Do not shoot season high, and his scoring really seemed to set the tempo for his team today. Boom, 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 boom. That's right, Ernie. Instrument. This guy was instrumental tonight in making sure they avoided him. Set the tempo. He needed somebody to step up tonight, and he was their guy. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance economic because there was no wasted opportunity. He took advantage of every good look he got. I mean, everything he put up was going in. And, folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great one. Okay, that was a disappointing game. I kind of just gave up in the end. You think you realize I gave up in the end? Because at first I told him to pull up, take a shot. He didn't do it. Kept walking in paint. So I was like, okay, take a step back now. He didn't take a step back and just pump and just fake the shot. So I passed somebody else, passed him, and said, okay, run up to the three point line while he stepped back. And he still didn't do that one. So I just like, oh, fuck it, just throw the ball up. I'm done. So yeah, there's the explanation of why I did that. Uh, 17 points from Batum. Oh god. 10 from Jefferson, because nobody could fucking defend him, and <laughs> pretty much no one else did anything, not, not one significant did anything. Linux played well, 14 points, 5 of 8 shooting, 4 or 5 from 3, very good. Rosier, 4 or 5 shooting, very good. Smart, not great. Uh, you, you did okay. Crowder didn't, obviously didn't do well. Yeah, silly. Five minutes and you did nothing, got no rebounds, no stats, nothing. Actually, I can't be bothered to show that one. We're going to go search for tra trades right now because I want Boban or Chris Epps or Stanley Johnson. Those are the three players I want. I don't know what they want from singers. Uh, either way, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. It's been Calvin Parker here. Leave it a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more and share it to your friends. Bye.